Welcome to Nerd Stalker. We're here at the Mashable Party in a VIP press lounge, which is separated by a stair. So, there you go. <laughs> My name is Drew Olenoff. I'm uh, the community manager slash evangelist for Strands.com. And what that means basically is I work with our community, listen to our community, and feed that back to our development team. And internally, I uh, work between multiple units of the company. So our company's been around for four years, working on recommendation technology. So Strands.com, which is what I work on, which is a taste streaming service, which basically takes in what music you listen to, what video you watch, what blog posts you share, and then uh, shares that with other people, with the friends that follow you, and eventually we're going to give you a taste profile that you can take with you. So how do you guys differentiate yourself from the friend feeds of the world and etc.? Sure. sure, I mean, friend feed, I'm a big supporter. But what we see as we're focused on entertainment, pop culture, and the mainstream. So one of the reasons why I'm out in uh, San Francisco right now is because we have this thing called Operation Mainstream. And what we're doing is we're talking to other startups, other services that we, that we bring in, like Twitter. And we talk to them about what is their plan to take it to moms, dads, cousins, non-geeks, right? When it came to Strands, one of the first things we did was start reaching out to college kids, right? College kids love Facebook. Facebook is mainstream. Why is Facebook mainstream? Because the service sets up real-life interaction, right? The most popular application of Facebook is, I can add everybody who's in my fraternity, I can set up events, we're having a party, we're having a luncheon, whatever, and it sets up real life. It doesn't replace real life. So then you look at the services out there and it's like, what really fills the holes of real life and what was the service that was created to fix a problem that didn't exist before you created the problem? So when you see Twitter, short, you know, short code communication, that applies everywhere, right? Instant communication, interaction, that applies everywhere. So we want to pull that in along with the other instant communication to show who you are. Recommendations based on taste you've expressed through your purchases. So if you go to Strand or if you shop at Starbucks every day, sure. maybe we can give you a recommendation to buy a Starbucks card, which will give you 10% off. Yeah. That's the future. Yeah, yeah. Right? So it's, it's taking that data, you trusting us that we're going to keep that private. And we'll share it in any way you like, right? So there's that, and like I said, strands.com, which is taking in what you're into and giving you good results on more things you'd be into or what your friends are into. We have a lot of talented people used to work for companies like AOL. A lot of people have been focusing on recommendation technology. So we're bringing it all together, and what we're realizing is being in public beta, the really cool thing about it is that people give us feedback because people care. Not because they're bored because they care and we take that feedback and we spit it back out and fixes and it's not a month later or two months later it's like two days later sometimes two weeks later and we listen and the fact that we can keep that it's not private because of exclusivity it's almost private because hey you're helping form the product if we build something what we think everyone's gonna think awesome think it's awesome we're wrong 130 people in our company can't decide that Five people in the, in the San Francisco office or five people in Virginia can't solve that. Only the people who use it every day. How do these people get a hold of you if they want to contact you? You can email me at drew at strands.com. You can go to my personal blog at drewolenoff.com and my phone number's on it. You can call me and that's the that's Scoble thing. This is the second phone number of the night. This is that's a Scoble <laughs> thing. Okay, you want a funny, quick phone number story? Sarah Lacey and I took over Chris Perillo's live stream, Chris Perillo, <laughs> yeah. for about three hours at Gnome Dex. Yeah, yeah. I gave out my phone number to his audience. Oh my God. I got 275 phone calls and 300 text messages. <laughs> and do you know what 50% of them was? Where's Chris? Can I talk to Chris? Because he does a good job with his community. That's true, that's he true. builds a trust. Yeah. And we don't want a fake trust, we want a real trust. You tell us, we listen. Awesome. That's where we're at. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for your time, man. Thank I appreciate you. It.